Hello, Google Chrome users. Um, let me just show you a quick way to save a file that's been shared with you that you do not have permission to share with other people. Um, I want to make sure you know how to do that because you can take anything from the curriculum that has been shared with you by me and you can make it your own copy and then share it with your students through Google Classroom. So let me just walk you through it really quick. For example, this is a file right here. This Mentor Sentences Google Slides presentation has been shared with me. I do not own rights to it because I didn't create it, um, but I can save it. So I'm going to click, right click, make a copy. Okay, it's going to make a copy for me. Give it just a second. Okay, here it is. Copy of mentor sentences. And then I'm going to name this. Rename it so it doesn't say copy of. And I'm just going to say mentor sentences slides. Okay, and I'm going to click OK. So I now have a copy of this in my drive. Okay, so now I'm in my Google Drive and I have my own copy of it. So I have right clicked, I made a copy, and now it's in my drive. Okay, so now I can go to my Google Classroom and I can come over here and click Create Assignment. I'm just going to call this Mentor Sentences, read the slides presentation. Okay, um, I'm not going to put a due date on it because this is just for practice. Okay, and now I can attach. So if I go back, if you look at your icons right here, you can upload a file, like something from your computer. You can upload something directly from your Google Drive, which is what you would like to select if you were using something that's been shared with you in the curriculum. You can upload a YouTube video, um, a link, whatever it is that you want to share with students. But in this case, it's something I saved in my drive. So I'm going to click the Google Drive, and here it is. You can see, here's the one that I saved, Mentor Sentences Slides. So remember, that's the one that I made a copy of and saved in my own drive. Okay? So now it's going to let me share it because I've made it my own. Okay? So that's a really important step. And then over here, you want to make a copy for each student. That way each student in your classroom can get their own copy of the presentation. Okay, and then I will click Assign. And there it is. Okay, so please just make sure that you remember anything that I have shared with you in the curriculum, you have to make a copy of it and save it to your own Google Drive. Okay, that way you remove all of the permissions that I've put on it because I've told you that you can only view it. So if you want to be able to manipulate the file and assign it to your students, you're going to have to make a copy and save it in your drive. Okay, hope that works for you. Thank you.